Making a hole for the new tent. Sounded like a good idea. Let's get a five meter tent. That's 16 feet across plus the pole. So I need like 24 feet all the way around by the time you have your ropes out and everything like that. So I have to move some stuff in the yard, make room for a five meter tent. See, the squirrels thought it would be a good idea to keep their pine cones in our wishing well. Didn't know that. We moved the wishing well and ended up with a big streak of pine cones all the way to the freaking wishing well to there. Now I gotta clean it all up. Squirrel. Not only are they the thinks of the forest, they'll mess up your yard, man. Whoa, 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 son, let me help you with that. Hang on. Okay. Right here. <laughs> this thing's 16 feet across. So let's put this sucker together and see what we got. There's some propaganda on top of the bag here. It's probably the instructions. We'll take a look. So it didn't come with any instructions that I've seen so far. Just a picture of what it's supposed to look like when it's done. No instructions. Here. Yeah. Well, wish me luck. Good news. The wife found some instructions. Come on over, babe. It tells you how to put it together, how to take care of it. But it doesn't tell you how two middle-aged married folks are supposed to put up a tent together without, you know, fighting and killing each other. <laughs> we'll figure out that part ourselves. <laughs> oh, good. I'm assuming at some point we have to unroll this sucker. I'm assuming you're right. Probably going. Okay, I don't think we're going to bore you with the whole detail. I'm going to unpack everything, we'll lay it out, and we'll show you everything that came with the tent. Be back in a minute. That camera feels good and heavy. Next step is to uh, put some pegs in. Let's see what we got here. Well, it seems to fit in the hole. Let's see what kind of bits and pieces come with it. Rope. That's some, some pretty serious rope. I imagine those are our guidelines. We've got uh, another one that's tied separately. It's probably specifically for the door. It'll probably be longer. Got a bag of pegs. Pretty uh pretty substantial pegs. Might go with some heavier ones later. Probably go with staking it down with this style and get uh, some larger ones for doing the other guy lines. I don't know what this is, dear, yeah. but I'm betting when I figure it out, it's going to be important. So hold on to that. <laughs> okay, I'll hold on to that for you. These are just, we used to tie it when it's tied up. And and poles. You got a nice, heavy, big center pole. This I'd imagine is, this would be the structure for the door. Uh, so, first part in putting it up is to put these around the circ circumference on the floor. So, let's do that. You got your hammer? Yeah, I got my hammer. <laughs> She's going to be in charge of the pegs. I'm going to go get a hammer. <laughs> 
He forgot his name. Huh? One, one pig, ah ha ha! <laughs> go around that. We gotta go the other way. <sighs> Little plague you're in. I tell you how many there are, but I didn't count them. wood stove for this, so in the evening when it gets cool, we're not going to be cool. We're done being cool. <laughs> no camp, but we're going to be comfortable. Well, it's hard to sleep in the vehicle, too. Yeah. 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 Well, we have our other tent that we bought a couple of years ago, but we got caught in some weather this year, and because it's an instant tent, it's like a cheap tent, like a Walmart kind of a thing, when the wind really started to come, the tent was not as good. <laughs> This won't do that. Were you in it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to have lunch. Yeah. <laughs> this won't do that. No. Throw the Arctic Circle at the sun. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yet. What do you mean, yet? <laughs> oh, no. We go camping in the, in the woods and out in the woods and fields and stuff like that. Anywhere you want. In the woods? Yeah. Yeah, in the woods. We camp at the bottom of the Grand Canyon and on top of mountains and fields all over the place.
Somebody has to do it. That. Now we don't have to look at our neighbors. That's awesome. You have to let the canvas get wet and shrink a couple of times so it's waterproof. That's how the canvas can works. Ta-da! One year. Huh? Right the other way. Plenty of height there, so plenty. This is back down a little bit. All I have to do is just tighten up the, the sidewall a little bit with that thing. Yeah. It's up here a little bit because of the tree root, right? Yeah. But the fireplace would be over here. Yes. See, before, when we, once we had the bed set up, uh -huh. it took half the tent. Yeah. And then we put up the two small gray chairs and the table, that table yeah. is full. Yes. It's, uh... Oh. Pardon my butt. Uh. Starting to see this has been on a couple of trips. <laughs> so, we're going to rearrange furniture for a little while, figure out what we like best in here, and then we'll turn the camera back on. But all in all, I like the tent. It's very roomy, very heavy canvas. It's heavier canvas than what I've seen on other tents, uh, heavier than expected. Um, it's, you know, it's all double, it's all double sewn in all the seams, um, all reinforced. Seems like to be a good quality tent. Yeah, and, and it's also very cool in here for a hot day. Yeah, it's 29 degrees outside, and it's actually cooler in here than it is out there. Of course, it's under a big shade tree. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Well, that didn't take too long. No, not at all. <sighs> nice tent. Yes, yeah, very nice tent. Roomy, eh? It's gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's really roomy. Yes. Glad we got the five meter up four meter. Yeah, no kidding.
What you doing? Reading the instructions. Why? Because then it's already up. Well, yeah, that's what you do. First you put your tent up, then you get everything assembled, and then when you're done and after you're relaxing, you read the instructions to make sure the manufacturer got it right when he wrote the instructions. Oh, okay. Hey! I forgot you were coming oh, over. Oh, hi! <laughs> hi, I'm Don. I'm Lana. <laughs> so here we are. We got the tent up. Uh, but the next day, it was so nice last night after we set it up, we just decided to sleep out in the yard in the tent. Uh, wonderful sleep. It was all windy and stuff like that, but with the canvas, we didn't hear any flapping or anything. It was nice and quiet inside the tent. We didn't feel any breeze. It was fantastic. Uh, like the tent. It, it's a good size. Um, here, let me take you on a tour. If he can get up. <laughs> well, I can get up. I just don't want to get up. I'm comfy. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so like I said, it's a five meter tent. Um, it really is quite roomy. We've got uh, room for all of our stuff. Got all our mining stuff over there. Got the bed there. Step back so you can see the pole. Still got lots of distance to walk between the end of the bed and the pole. Um, We're able to set up a nice little sitting area over here. There's, uh, there's Lana making a blanket uh, for our daughter-in-law. Um, beautiful blanket. And over here we got our wood stove we already saw. Um, if you want to see a, uh, a review of that wood stove, there's one on the website. You'll, you know, I'll Put a link to it in the uh, video at the end of the video. Nice tall door. Um, that that's probably pretty close to five feet. Very comfortable to get in and out of. And really quite high. Got lots of vents up top. Lots of windows. Nice tent. The floor is a really thick uh, rubber, rubberized material, and the inside of the tent is coated with a rubber side. Uh, I should have thought of turning the camera on last night. I'll, I'll try and think of it in another video. But when it was dark, with the uh, lantern on, you could see it reflecting inside from the waterproofing. Um, really gave the tent a nice warm glow. Very comfortable. So here it is from the outside. Um, you know, just really just your standard... Five meter bell tent. Uh, got your guy wires. You know, pretty standard. Nothing special. One of the things I do like about this tent is there's a zipper along the bottom for both the inner mosquito mesh and a zipper that goes all the way along the bottom for the for the canvas uh, outer door. So you know, so you got that protection. You're not going to get any wind blowing underneath the door or through the cracks. Seems to be quite well made. It's a good, like I said, it's a good heavy canvas. All in all, uh, like the tent. I think it should give us uh, years of service. So, like I said, I like the tent. Uh, it seems to be really well made. Um, it's heavy. It's uh, almost 80 pounds when it's packed up, but if you want the heavier canvas, you got to carry more weight. It's really that simple. Um, so like I said, it's, it's a nice tent, seems to be well made. Uh, we bought it uh, from a company in Canada. Uh, we've ordered it on eBay. It showed up six days from when we ordered it. Um, it came UPS and uh, yeah, it was quick. They sent us a nice little thank you card. It was in the box with the, uh, with the tent. Um, this is for info. Uh, so it says, feel free to contact us via email info at tiger-spring.com if you have any other questions about our product. So that's the uh, website for the folks who sent it to us, their email address. I think good value for the dollar. I'm very happy that, with this tent. Look forward to uh, 
many years of enjoying this tent. And it'll be nice to be, uh, you know, warm. So all in all, I give this tent uh, two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Look at that. <laughs> we like the tent. Yes, we do. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Have a great day. So you want to uh, smooch later? Or a video. Oh, you want to watch some TV later? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> The yeah, once it, yeah. yeah, it came out, she thought it would all oh, go. I said, yeah, no, sometimes it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it takes a couple of days at least. <laughs> a couple hours, a couple of days. What do you want? Is this a one up? Come on here. Come on. Come here. Ah! Oh, you're a pain in the butt. He says, yeah, that's my job. You're happy now? Oh yeah, I gotta shave your butt tomorrow. Ah, you're getting your butt shaved. <laughs> I'll say screw it, I'm not gonna shave them. Just gonna let them go. Just gonna let him go. But he needs a bath. Yeah, I know you don't like that word, but tough. Tough bananas. No, he hates taking baths. Well, he's gotta take a bath, otherwise he stinks. It's hard enough to get people to play with him. Yeah. He hates taking bath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spray nozzle instead of just using the bucket or a cup. Just use a spray. Why don't you use fire wash? Just get some soap, throw them in the toilet, throw some soap in, close the lid. He'll agitate himself and when you're done, rinse it a couple of times and uh, flush it a couple of times, rinse them right off. Done. Yeah, well guess what? He won't fit in the toilet. I'm betting he will. <laughs> you want to give it a shot? <laughs> You want a toilet bath? Hmm? Dumbass. Mosquitoes are coming out. Yeah, you gotta close those things now. <laughs>